Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome to the DIY Yardy channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video today, I'm doing a assemble and install of the Trinity stainless steel utility sink. But um, before the install, I have to remove this old, the old sink. So I'm going to take you through the process of um, doing that removal just before the assemble and install. All right. So this is this this is the old sink, and um, the faucet is broken on the sink, but she just wants a whole new sink so i'm gonna install this sink and uh, use this tray to catch any water that may leak i want to make sure you do that so what i'm doing here now is the first thing is turning off the um main cutoff for this uh sink the hot and cold that one is a cold the other side is the hot i'm going to make sure to cut that off also couple of turns until it locks once it locks you might want to just you know talk down on it just a little bit more to make sure it's locked or closed properly all right so the next thing you want to do after that is turn on your sink I'm sorry your faucet and um, make sure you know the water stopped running both hot and cold as you see here this this faucet has a leak right at the entry there so i have to go to the main and cut it off here all right so main is where the main water pipe comes into your house so this one is the screw in type there are some with a lever you just lift the lever up or down to cut it off Okay, once that off, go back, make sure everything is good. So we look good there, no more water coming out. All right, so now I can go ahead and disconnect my pipes. All right, so what I'm going to do is get this elbow out of there first. Hopefully, get some more room to work. And there's water always going to be in this elbow, so to be sure to have something below the catch once you take this loose. And you pull these counterclockwise. You can see the water leaking down there already. And pull down on that slowly. Probably be a better idea to have a, a little deeper um, drain than I have there, or cat, you know, catch the water in. All right, so now I'm gonna get these um, lines pull. That's the cold side I'm working on there. You'll probably get a little bit of water coming out, but not too much. Just the residual from what's left in the pipe. What I did, I loosened it to the point where I can turn with my hand. And that way I can just go ahead and you know, unscrew with my hand from this point. This is a hot, I'm um, taking loose right now. Usually the hot is on the left, cold is on the right. Okay, so what I have to do now is lift it out of place.
Everything is loose, so it should come right out of there. So this is the new one. So there are the parts, the legs, the faucet. Comes with that. All these all these parts comes in one. This is um like a stabilizer to attach it to the wall. This is the manual. And this is the sink assembly or the drain, the drain assembly. So we start with the legs and uh, has a little Allen um, key and, and studs or screws. Everything comes with it. So this little Allen key, loosen those Allen screws so the leg can slide in easily. Do this for all four. I'm just loosening up and um, dropping them in, then I'll go back and tighten afterwards. These little caps, little rubber caps, comes along with it. And once you got it tightened, you cover with these caps. I'm gonna do the same for all four. These are uh, adjusters. Once you um, get it in place, if you have any shaking or rocking, you can use those adjusters to adjust to wherever you have a low or a high spot to adjust it, you know, for each leg to get it leveled. Okay, so we got um, all our um, Allen bolts tightened and all the rubber caps in place. All right, so now we're going to do the drain, and it, all, it comes with everything in um, order. So you're just going to open it like this, unscrew, and open the, well, remove the rubber and the cardboard washer. All right, that goes in place on the inside, the rubber and the cardboard faces rubber first, the cardboard second, and then the, the big um, retainer nut. Okay, so there's a, there's a special screw um, tool, I should say, for um, tightening down these um, drains. But if you don't have that tool, if you have a, you know, like a large pair of channel locks, you can use that also. So that's what I'm using here to tighten down on this. I'm going to flip the sink on the side so you can get a better um, angle of it.
Okay, so see I'm using my channel lock here. The bigger the better. <laughs> and so I'm grabbing on to these little, um, what do you call them, the loaves that's sticking off. You just want to make sure, you know, you get it tightened down as best possible. If you should find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. It is totally free to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. All right, help me grow my channel. I really appreciate that. So this part here, um, it, it comes with it, but what I'm gonna do is reuse the whole drain, the whole pipes from the original sink, all right? So now I'm moving on to the faucet part of it. And if, if you don't have um, an old faucet, you can always get these parts at like a Home Depot or you know, uh, hardware, you know, some hardware place like that, okay? And, you know, you can build your own drain, you know, you can buy that stuff. It's just connections, basically, that you have to put together. But if you have an old sink, best to reuse what's on the old sink, if possible. Let's work for you, all right? So I'm getting the faucet in place. Uh, once you got all the hoses routed, putting the washer on. That's a plastic nut. And you have to route each line through the washer. You can tell I've been doing some painting by my hand before that. <laughs> Little bit of everything. Okay, so we're going to get this hand tightened. You want to just tighten down as you know firm as you can get it with your hand. Doesn't have to be super tight, just to hold the faucet, you know, in place. But there will be times when you want to um, maybe spin the faucet a little bit to the left or to the right, so you don't want it actually locked. You just want it sitting and it'll it'll stay you know it'll stay in one place so what I'm doing here is I'm connecting these two lines together this is the pipe this is where the water comes out to the pipe and it comes it hooks up to this line Okay, it's just a button, like a quick release, um, that button you press, remove like that, and just click, clip it back together. Simple as that. All right, so the next thing is this weight, which also comes with the package. And um, basically what this weight is for is it, um, when you pull the, the hose part from the, like the shower head from the faucet, you can pull it out if you want to wash something down or, you know, it's removable or it's extendable, I should say. So this weight will make sure that it goes back in, you know, once once you're pu pushing it back inside the, fa the faucet housing, it'll slide right back in because the weight will pull, put, you know, will be there to put some weight on it to pull it back in. So you want to put it on the side to the faucet or the, the, the hose going out to the faucet. And like I was saying, um, uh, subscribing to my channel is totally free. It does help me to grow my channel. I'll definitely appreciate, you know, anyone that does that. And um, hit the thumbs up, 
leave a comment, you know, ask a question if you should have a question. I'll try to help you as best possible. You know, the, the, you can leave a comment at the bottom of the video. Um, thumbs up also at the bottom of the video. And subscribe, you just hit that little icon to the right at the bottom of my screen. All right, so that's what it looks like with the when you pull on the um, pull on the shower head or the faucet, it pull the weight pulls it back in. All right, so now I got it in place where it's going to be sitting, and what I'm doing here is marking the wall. That little retainer that um, comes along with it, little strap is going to be mounted to the wall behind the sink. So I'm making a marking so I know where to put that retainer. Okay, so now I'm gonna move this out of the way. I just put it there just to make my mark. So these are my marks here. So for each corner, I did a mark. So I'm gonna place the retainer at least a quarter inch below that top mark, but in the center. Okay, so about a quarter inch below the top marks on each side. All right. I'm actually going off of the markings I made from the actual sink. So what I'm gonna do now is get this attached to the wall and it comes with um, plastic stud and screws. So I have to uh, make two holes in the drywall and then attach it to the wall. So I'm putting it, uh, like I said, about a quarter inch below my uh, marks that I made. And I'm just gonna use this screwdriver to make the holes you know, this is drywall, it's not, it's not that hard. Just use a small screwdriver, I'm using a small Phillips. And what I'm doing is I'm marking my spots here. And then I'm gonna poke the holes with the Phillips. Take my time and gently press while I, you know, spin it left to right. These are the plastic studs. And gently tap that in place. And I'm going to attach the retaining bar or strap. Get the screws um, in place and tightened. You don't have to torque down on these, you just want to get them snug. So it's plastic, so you don't want to strip it out. tight and you can get the sink in place you can see it's just about a quarter inch below the top of that line I want to position the sink so the top the top rear of that sink goes right over that bar I got a little helper here. <laughs> so now that's hooked in place. Gonna get my water lines connected. This is blue, so you know that's cold for the cold line. So that will be on the right.
bread for the hut. And you don't want to torque this onto the pipe either, you just want to get it snug. Red right to the hot water outlet. You can see the stripe red on the lines. Red for hot, blue for cold. This one is twisting a little bit as I tighten. The line is twisting, so I'm gonna back it up just a little bit, hold it and twist it back. Take the pressure off of it. And we're going to connect our elbow. So hand tighten should be pretty good. I'm just giving it a little extra turn, a little half a turn with the screwdriver. Make sure it's tight. No more than a half or a quarter turn should be good once you got it hand tightened. good. Now I can cut my water on and you want to check all connections for leaks once you get to this point. And I have to go um, uh, turn on the main. I had the main shut off. So get that back on. Check for leaks, all the connections. Everything looking good. That's simple. Anything, any of the connections are leaking, you want to, you know, do a little more turning or tor torquing down on it. But everything looks good. Hot water, good. Cold. That's it. This is DIY Yachty. Hope this video was helpful. Please, thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment. Till next time, enough blessings.